Hey guys, Clever But Disturbing, back with more Spyro the Dragon. This time we're headed into the second, whoops. This time we're heading into the second level of Nasty's World, which is right here at Twilight Harbor. And it's such a fitting name for the last sort of regular level in the entire game. Because it's it's Twilight, just like it's Twilight on the game, and as a result of Twilight on this LP, but the sun's setting in the background, it's really pretty. The Norks, however, are not. Now see, this is the level earlier when we saw those Norks in Haunted Tower with the grenades. This is where they would have fit in very nicely. Because look here, all the Norks are all like armed out with like militia equipment and like guns and everything, and they're all militarized. See, the, the grenade Norks would have fit in nicely here. I feel like they just had finished all the enemies for this level and then realized they needed some more enemies for Haunted Towers, and they just stole those from that one and put them in here. Here, there are even are Norks. There are different Norks that throw grenades, but they're still Norks that grow, throw grenades. The other ones would have fit in a lot better here, I think, than in Haunted Tower. I think that was just silly. Oh, don't want to miss those gems over there. But yeah, this level is, I mean, to be in Nasty's world, which, you know, obviously since Nasty's, I mean, his name is Nasty. So you would think that his levels wouldn't be that pretty, but this is actually a really pretty world. This damn you and your freaking machine gun that fires little weird triangular bullets. Flamed one chest jump for the other. Too bad that doesn't work. But yeah, it, this is a really pretty level to sort of be, like, in the bad guy's world. This is actually one of the prettier levels. I really like it, this level. I like the sky and the sunset and all the colors. I'm normally not a big fan of orange, but, like, in sunsets and things like that, I really like it. And the way it blends in with the reds, it's just really pretty. But here's the first dragon of the level, so let's go ahead and free him. Rescued Cosmos. Thank you for releasing me. A boring dragon, but what did we expect? He didn't even get a new name, so of course he's not going to get that intro. What hit me? I should not have been hit. That was utter bullshit. Oh my god, I hate... I used to hate the enemies in this level. Okay, scratch the used to part. I hate the enemies in this level. And now I know the rats respawned. Yay, come here, little rat friends. I must kill you and take your butterflies. Okay, so over here's a gym that I think... I think I might have just been laying there. And here's another one with the stupid machine gun. I hate those so much. Those are so annoying. The ones that's like fire out in a spray. They're so hard to like get past. I think the easiest way to do it is to try and jump. But sometimes you get hit anyways because the game just likes to be a real dick sometimes. <laughs> Glad to see my mood's improved, aren't you? Okay. So up here's one that tosses grenades except he's dressed out in camo and I don't know. Really, I mean, he's wearing camo. I hate camo, and I live I live in the middle of. Ugh, never mind. I'm just gonna feed this dragon. Rescue Cletus. Be on the lookout for Nort Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, what I was saying was I live in like the middle of Appalachia, and I live in an area where. People buy camouflage things. Not for hunting, not for military use, they just buy camouflage things for fun. In fact, there's a uh, local store downtown, if you can call it downtown, it's a very small town, not much of a town to it, and they have a section dedicated to um, women's camouflage clothing and accessories, like you can buy, you know, camo purses and uh, camo. Um, like those little, I can clutch, not really a clutch, nobody here is fancy enough to carry a clutch, but like, little women's wallet type deals, and it's just, uh, I'm just like, really, why, why, why do you want to look like you're going out in the woods to like, gut a deer? It's stupid. I hate people who wear camouflage for fashion because there's no fashion to camo. Camo is, I don't care if I am offending people who wear camo, if you wear camo, you need to look in the mirror and take a long, hard look at your life and your choices. Because, ew, is all I can say. Ew, you look like you are in... You look like you made your clothes out of leaves and you even picked the ugly leaves. Like, you weren't even selective about it. You didn't get the nice bright green leaves. You got the brown, ugly, dead ones, too. That is what you look like if you are wearing camouflage anything. If you're hunting, I'm not a fan of hunting. I would never go hunting. But if you're hunting, I understand wearing camouflage. 
if you're going to town and you're wearing camouflage, then you are a dumbass, and I'm sorry to inform you of that, but it is true. I hate it. Oh god, it's like one of my biggest pet peeves in the entire world is people who wear camo for fun. Oh, there's this website that um, one year me and my classmates stumbled across, and it's called camoformal.com, and you can buy like camo, like prom and homecoming dresses, and like camouflage vests for like tuxes and things like that. And it is so ridiculous, and it just. Everything is like camouflage and then like that hunter orange like those orange safety jackets that hunters wear so other hunters see them and they don't get shot like everything is that it's camouflage like different types of camo and and hunter orange that's what all the colors are and it just it makes me sad that such a thing exists in this world it makes I'm just why why do you want to, your your prom is not in the woods why do you want to look like it is I mean, maybe your prom's in the woods, but I'm sure if it is, it's at least under like a nice gazebo or something. I don't know. I don't, I, I, these are the things that I, I question. More. This level's going by really quick, though, while I'm ranting about camouflage. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, damn, he shot me. <laughs> I was like shaking then, like I was having trouble breathing. I was like, I don't have sparks and they're gonna kill me. But I made it, yay. And we're actually almost finished with level unless I've missed something, and I really hope and pray I haven't missed anything. Keep your fingers crossed while I open up these last gems. I think we should be good. That should give us 90. And then I'm guessing there's two five gems in this. Yes. Guys, we just finished the last, like, level of the game. So, do you know what that means? Spyro's about to get to fulfill his wishes. We're about to go challenge. Challenge. Challenge! That's a G, not an S there. Nasty Nork. Oh, except, you know what I should probably do? I should probably kill some of these rats and, uh, heal Sparks up first so that I'm not going into the final boss battle about to die. That would normally be in my best interest. Okay, so right here's the last treasure for the home world, too. That was a- that chest was had a lot of gems stuffed into it, didn't it? No. Spyro didn't want to walk for a second. I was like hitting the control stick and he wasn't moving. So that's it. 200 out of 200. Well, it's not really completely complete because there's still a dragon left. Where's he at? Well, we'll find out after we beat Nasty Nork. But here we go. Even the sky is pretty in the Nasty Nork's level. They made the, ba the bad guy's level pretty, but... So up there's the big Nork himself. But as you see, he's up there and we can't get him. But for a set, right now, we're just going to kind of ignore him and we're going to take care... The camera's really weird here and it makes the controls kind of act strange because it tries to focus on him even when you don't really want to. But as you notice, he's up there where we can't get to him right now and he will shoot at us if we try to go close. But you might see there's a key. And there's like a keyhole underneath of that and... There's a thief. So guess what we have to do? We have to chase down the thief and get the key. So that's what we're gonna do, is if, I mean, you might have thought, hey, the dragon eggs are all found now, so no more thieves for the, no, they bring them back, even though they're really annoying to catch, they bring them back for the final boss battle, because what would this Spyro game be with, like, without a convoluted, very odd boss battle? In, um, the sequels to this Spyro, to this game, the second, the third games, the boss battles are a lot more traditional, like, you know, the boss battle, I mean, the boss is like health, and you have to, you're in an arena, you're not chasing after the boss, you're trying not to get killed. They're a lot harder than this one because they're not just, you know, convolu convoluted chase sequences. I've said the word convoluted a lot, now I'm gonna try and stop. Oh, got him. And there's the key, but we need to go through here and get this treasure. Because you want to make sure you get all the treasure in this level before you actually beat the final boss, because then you have to come back later, and that would suck. But anyways, this key actually doesn't go to his pedestal. It goes to this door over here. Because this level has two keys and two thieves. Because one wasn't enough. The more the merrier, I guess. Except when they're little nasty green thieves trying to keep me from getting to Nasty Nork. I know, I can't... Nasty Nork builds himself up to be such a badass and he gets insulted when the dragons call him not a threat. But then he has these little tiny weak thieves who run away from you, guard the keys that keep you away from him. Like, he's not even willing to take on a little purple dragon. That totally should have killed that thief. That was... Mm. There we go. Take that, bitch. 
Okay, now we're gonna go around backwards and uh, clear out the rest of this treasure and make sure we get it all. I wish I re had remembered the numbers from the last time I played this as to, how as to how much treasure I need to have before I take him on. But uh, I don't remember that because that would have been too helpful and made things too easy for me. I feel like I should have, I feel like it shouldn't be 179 though. That's just a very strange number. So I'm going to go back through the other way. Sorry if this takes long. But I, I feel like I should not have 179. I feel like I should have like 180 or something, maybe. I don't know. I may just be being silly. Okay, I don't see anything. So uh, I'm almost positive though that it's a nice clean number after you do the next little section of the game. So if I still have a funny number. And now that you have the key, he runs away like a little scared bitch. Come b And of course it takes the key three days. Come back here, sir. I must flame your nether regions. Spyro's finally here. Finally... Oh, no, 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 fail, 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 fail. Oh, I was also going to try to stop saying fail so much because I said a lot early. What the? No. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Okay, there's one. Maybe I'll be able to catch some easier this time because that one was a lot easier to catch. So maybe the other one will be too and I can take care of this really quick. I can't believe it makes you do that. But I mean, I guess since there's no dragon here, there's no like checkpoint in the level. No, this one of course is still running full speed. Come back here, you little bitch. Grrr. I'm sorry, guys. I feel so bad about that. I shouldn't have died. I'll try and be more careful this time. Okay, that didn't take too long. Okay. Now let's try not to fall in that. Anyways, what I was saying is here Spyro is finally ready to take on Nasty Nork. And you know, finally like, get his vengeance for dragon kind. And he, Nasty just runs away. He just runs off, just like, oh, later. It's like, no, that's not, that doesn't, that's not right. Stand and fight like a man, or a nork, I guess. I mean, we had other norks that tried to gun us down and, like, charged after us. But here's the big boss of norks. He made the other norks, and all he can do is run away like a scared little like like a scared little girl being chased by a masked man with a machete that's what he acts like that's a very odd uh simile but i'm just gonna stick with it okay so yeah he he ran back down there and hopefully i have a clean number now i kind of took my time with that one because there's only because i wanted to make sure i got all the treasure before i move on to the next sequence but yeah now i have 375 so now i'm certain that that's a nice clean number and i should be good Anyways, what you have to do is you can't catch him anywhere except right at the end of this. So you just want to try and keep up with him. Which is kind of scary on these little places that have no walls and there's all the purple sludge around. But you have to just try and keep up with him pretty good. You're obviously not going to catch him until he gets there. And then he stops to shoot at you one time here. And you have to get there before he runs off and then toast him. And now he runs into this and this is the second part. And these platforms, it's hard to really notice because they're doing it kind of slowly, but they're actually going back into the walls. I'm talking really fast now because I'm nervous, and so you have to hurry and fly. Oh, God. I'm concerned now because I stopped there for a second. Oh, God. It's getting close. Barely. And then you just run in here and... You... Well, he smacked me with his mace. That normally doesn't happen. And you flame him one more time and he drops 100 gems. And I... I might have talked over it just then, but Spyro says, You're toast, Snork! And he gets his first voice line in the game, aside from when he's talking to dragons. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Gnork? Nasty Nork? is toast! So, now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. So yeah, guys, we beat Nasty Nork. We did it. It's finished. It's over. Or is it? We still have one more dragon to free. And like Spyro said, there might be some more treasure because we have we have 12,000 gems right now. That's a lot, I know. But if you remember, there was that old dragon at the beginning of the game, and he was trying to tell the he was trying to tell the man how many how much treasure that he has, and he was like, 12,000 or is it 14? Well, we're about to figure out why maybe he was, well, not right now. We're Right now we're watching the credits and enjoying them. But next time we'll be figuring out why he might have been so confused. But for now, we're just going to enjoy the credits as we go through and we look at all the places we've been. 
as we were playing as Spyro trying to find Nasty Nork and free all of the dragons that he had in prison just because he got his feelings hurt on a television broadcast. He's so petted and wimpy. I mean, he ran away from us at the end, so obviously he's not that big and bad. He just happened to have one little spell that managed to turn all the dragons into crystal. So, you know, he's still really a big wimp. He went down in two flames. We fought so many creatures and monsters and enemies that were so much harder to kill than he was. Two flames. That's all it took. And the rest of it, he just, the rest of the time, he just ran around. So, Nasty Nork is a big wimp, but he was good at something, and we'll see what that is next time. So, but for the rest of the time, let's just enjoy these credits. There's Magic Crafters. It's so pretty. I still love Magic Crafters. Look at those peaks. I love it, and the purple and the blue, even like the water that kills you is pretty. And here is High Cave. Yeah, High Caves. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember what it was called. Yep, and I wonder if we're going to see the little fairies that carry us places. I don't see them. I think that when they do that, I think they take all the sprites out for these scenes. So, you know, that makes sense why we didn't see that. And here's Wizard Peak. I'm going to point out all the Magic Crafters worlds because they're my favorite, so you're just going to have to bear with me. But yeah, I mean, even though it's not over yet, we still have one episode left. But it's been really fun. Oh, no, here's a little warning. No sheep were harmed during the the creation of this game. A disclaimer, not a warning. A few norks, but no sheep. Well, Nasty Nork was the bad guy, so I think we can allow for a few norks to hurt. But now we're returning home. But, and here is the last dragon. The 80th one. But we're not going to free him right now, guys. We'll free him next time. And I will see you then for the finale of Spyro the Dragon. I've been clever but disturbing. Bye, guys.